My name is Gamaliel Kanenje, uh, and I was born in the western part of Kenya region. Uh, so you see, most part of Kenya region is where maybe most families are living in a humble background, and mostly they don't they don't they don't have that financial capability to take their students to school. So I was born in a family of seven children, and we had we had difficulties in going to school actually. If I remember, the whole of primary school was very hard, was very difficult. Even affording a meal to eat was very, 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 very difficult. But because of the interest that I had and the hard work that I had, I did my best uh, and I performed well in the primary national exams. And I really passed very well. Uh, I got a B plus. So I was to join a national school, uh, but because of that financial instability the family had, uh, I wasn't able to manage. So by the luck of God, I, I managed to join a nearby school, just a local school, a walking distance from home. So I could walk, like for example, for I could walk for two kilometers to school. That's very early in the morning and later at evening back to home. So when I joined the secondary school in 2014, uh, this is when I made the CES, the Community Education Service from Canada. Uh, so I plead the principal who was in charge of the school, and I, I told him that uh, I'm from a very humble background, and my parents can't even afford to pay the tuition fee for this school. So he told me, if you are a hardworking student, we'll consider you. So after the first term of the year, uh, I did, we did our CAT, the Continuous Assessment Test, and I, I was number one in the whole class in a class of 108 students. So he got he got surprised and he told me that this young man is a, is a hardworking boy, though from a very humble background. Uh, if given support, he can really do much. So this, when I, I met with Mr. Malik Haemba, he came to school with Madam Sarah Nabongo, and they interviewed me about where, where I come from, my family background, and so many questions. And I'm happy that they gave me a sponsorship, a fully sponsorship for high school education. Uh, so they were paying me fully amount of the school fees. Uh, they were providing me shoes. And sometimes they could come to school with some gift hampers, like books, pens, uh, normally when we, we were doing exams. So I got more encouraged to perform so better in my uh, education. And by the end of the four years in high school, I performed very well and I got a minute to attain the university education. So CES really gave me something that I, I couldn't imagine I've gotten it. Uh, because more so during, in our family background, uh, none of even the villagers could believe that a son from this family could even go to university. But believe me, the rule says that helped me to perform, to pay school fees in high school, I did very well. I was encouraged, I was, I was motivated, and I, I performed better. In the campus, the government doesn't provide the full support, doesn't provide money for maybe for rent, house allowances. So it just helped me a lot. It helped me to pay the rent, maybe to buy some books, uh, to buy some equipment in my house. So it was very important, and I, I really appreciate what this did to me. Sess really gave me a life that I, I never thought I could have been. So I can say Sess has brought a light or a lim limelight in my life. It has give, given me the chance and the opportunity to pursue dreams that I never thought I could have got them.